Alrighty, so today I want to talk about the fixture sheet, um, which we don't actually have live right now. So let's go do that. Here we go. Boom, we have our fixture sheet. Let's delete this. Let's expand this. I want to talk about some of the modes and different options in your fixture sheet. So your fixture sheet, if you don't know, basically displays all of the data um, about your fixtures. Um, and it is a very helpful tool in your programming because it quickly you can see um, all of your all of the data, your dimmer, all that kind of stuff, what everything is. But there are a lot of options. Everyone kind of has a different um, way of doing that. The fixture sheet can take up a lot of room, especially if you have a decent amount of fixtures in your show. So like you could have all of your screens on your MA like covered <laughs> in fixture sheets. Um, so the, here are a couple tips to help like just kind of make sure you're maximizing your space and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna click the little MI icon over here. All right. So display dur, 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 over here. What you can see here um, are a couple settings. I'm gonna uh, explain that right now. So programmer only, if you toggle that, you see automatically my fixture sheet has um, become much smaller. And what it's done is it is only showing me the values for fixtures that are currently in my programmer. So um, any fixtures that are not in my programmer, it's not gonna show me those. Um, it's only showing me ones that are in my program are really helpful if you have a lot of fixtures um, and you only want to see the ones that you are currently like working with, right? Okay, so we can untoggle that. Um, you can also fixture appearance toggle. This will like display the little icon next to it here um, of like what the fixture is. So this you can see the Aurora XB has like a default little moving wash thing, kind of cool. Merge cells, uh, it just like, it kind of keeps everything together. So like instead of seeing um, red, green, uh, blue, white, like all in the same preset, you can all see it's referencing 4.4 as a preset. Merge cells just shows you uh, the one preset. Um, that is also very helpful, I think, just because it's like, it's a little easier. Like this feels more complicated to me than this, right? Transpose, um, that shows you like by attribute. So your fixtures are like up here and your attributes are down here. So it's it's like reversed. Adjust that. You can adjust columns. That kind of um, like allows you a little more space. You can adjust the amount of columns. Um, you can adjust the sheet mode to channel, which will like show you the channels that are currently active. You can also see it shows like that there's a phaser running on these, what color they are, um, and all that kind of stuff. Very cool. But now fixtures. Um, fixture sort will like put your current fixtures that you're currently like using at the top so you can see those that's very helpful I think um, you can set an appearance for this like if you I don't know what you want that for but you can do it if you wanted your fixture sheet to be green I don't know um, uh, the preset ID plus name um, this like well let me just show you so you can see here it will kind of like display different data so name is just like the name of the preset if you named it um, name plus value will also show you the value associated with it. So you can see here, like the preset is 4.4 and then the value is 96. Then you can just see the value. So that's like the hard value. You can't see the presets. You can just see the ID, which is 4.4. You can see ID plus name. None of mine are currently named. Like um, if I was to name this red, it would show 4.4 red. Um, and those are uh, the preset settings. So that's the, those are the most of the, um, the things that you're gonna be working with on a day-to-day -day basis. You can hide your layer toolbar, but like you can quickly see, um, like if you wanna just look at your delay data, you can click that and it will show you delay data. You can adjust your font size um, if you want everything to be smaller or bigger. Readout auto. Your mask, this will like take out, um, if you like don't wanna see your pyro, in your fixture sheets or you don't want to see any of your fog, you like just want to see your fixtures, you could unclick all of those. I actually don't have any of that assigned, so that's not going to work. Um, and then you can say like a filter toolbar as well. So you can like um, add all of that filter data in as well. So those are just some of the fixture sheet settings. Play around with it. Really helpful um, to make sure that you are maximizing your space, but also um, getting the data that you need.